Felix Extreme N Gigabit Router, also known as the DIR655. Let's see what comes in the box. As usual, a CD and product documentation, the DIR655 wireless router, an Ethernet cable, three detachable antennas, and we'll assemble these in a moment, a stand that allows you to set the router upright, a power adapter, and optional mounting pieces. Now we'll put the pieces together. Remove the router out of the plastic wrapping and remove the plastic film covering the router. Grab your three antennas and screw all three into the back of the router. If you'd like to use the router standing up, fold down the antennas because the antenna should always be pointing up and place the router into the stand. Simple as that. Let's get a closer look at the router. On the front are the power and network activity LEDs. On the side is the WPS button for easy configuration of devices, four LAN ports, one internet port, USB share port, reset button, and power. And of course you have the three antennas. All right, let's power up the router. Somewhere near your modem, connect the ethernet cable directly from your modem to the port labeled internet. Plug the power from the wall to the back of the DIR655. When all lights on the front turn blue, you're ready to use the DIR655. Now that the router is properly set up, we recommend taking an additional few minutes to set up some simple security. Plug an ethernet cable into an available LAN port and connect the other end into your computer. Open a web browser and log into the router by typing in 192.168.0.1 in the address bar. Leave the password blank for the default. After logging in, click on Setup. On the left side navigation, click Wireless Settings. And down at the bottom, click on Manual Wireless Connection Setup and I'm going to change the network name or SSID. You can change the name to personalize your setup and to distinguish it from other D-Link products. We're also interested in the wireless security mode. From the dropdown, select WPA Personal. You can leave the WPA settings as their defaults, but you will need to create a pre-shared key. This can be any eight or longer password using letters and or numbers. It's best to write this password down somewhere for safekeeping because you will need it when connecting any wireless devices. Up top, click Save Settings and you're finished. Allow the settings to take effect and go ahead and unplug your ethernet cable from your computer. Click on the network icon in the taskbar, select your router and click Connect. Enter your security key and click OK. Congratulations, your new DIR655 Extreme N Gigabit Router is ready to go. Thank you and see you next time.